The Dynamics 365 Field Service mobile app is a standalone mobile app purpose-built for field service scenarios. It's designed to aid technicians as they travel to various customer locations each day and complete work orders and other tasks. It features a modern and intuitive interface and offline capabilities that allow technicians to keep working and viewing job details even when there is no internet access. The app is created and maintained by Microsoft and built on Microsoft's Power Platform. This means the same admin experience to manage field service web is used to manage and configure the mobile app, creating efficiency and consistency. Let's take a look at using and configuring the mobile app. First, download the app from your device's app store. In this example, we are on an iPhone in the Apple iOS app store. Search for Field Service Dynamics 365 and find and download the Orange app. Once it's done, launch the app and sign in with your Dynamics 365 Field Service credentials. If you have been scheduled work orders, you will see them in the Bookings tab. After logging in as a technician, you will be taken to the Bookings tab by default. Here you will see work orders and other jobs scheduled for today. You can also see these jobs in a daily or weekly view and view the schedule for other days as needed. When you are ready to begin your work order, simply select a booking and more information will display. First thing you may do is set the status to traveling to indicate you are going to the next job. In the Customers tab, you will see the account name and the customer's location on a map. Selecting Get Directions will trigger the device's navigation app. Once on site, you will change the status to In Progress. In the Service tab, you can see more information that describes what the job entails. In this example, this work order is for a fire extinguisher inspection, and you can begin filling out the inspection form. The inspection guides technicians through various questions about the asset, like a checklist, measurement readings, photos and videos, and more. You can then mark the inspection as completed when you're done. Back on the work order, you can also note products that are used as part of the service, and note the number of units used and billed, as well as the warehouse it came from. The same is true for service. You can note how long to bill for labor as part of the service visit. At the bottom, you can trigger actions. One important action is an integration with Dynamics 365 Remote Assist. When selected, the Remote Assist application opens and queues up the appropriate support contact to call. This allows you to collaborate with experts that are in other locations to resolve the issue. Back in the Field Service mobile app, Another important feature is the ability to attach files, pictures, and videos to the work order. This helps to build service history for the customer and for internal purposes. After work is performed, the customer can sign off with a digital signature from the work order form. When the job is done, you can change the status to completed. This lets the back office know that the job is complete and initiates any subsequent business processes, such as the send of a customer survey link or a manager's review. In the main menu, you can trigger offline mode that downloads any data you may need when there is no internet access. This allows you to continue working. You will see a list of entities that are downloaded. Back in the main menu, you will see various information related to on-site service. Examples are accounts, contacts, assets and IoT devices, the ability to record time entries, and more. Next, let's show how to configure the Field Service mobile app for your business needs. When you install Field Service or upgrade to the latest version, Administrators will see a new model-driven app called Field Service Mobile. 
The first thing you need to do is ensure the app is assigned to the security roles who need it. Select the Field Service Mobile Model Driven App, select Options, and choose Manage Roles. Select the Field Service Security Roles and other roles that need access to the mobile app and the configurations that we are about to make. One of the most common configurations to the Field Service Mobile app is editing the home screen. As you can see to the right, the home screen is the list of entities displayed on the main screen of the mobile app. In your web browser, go to the Field Service Mobile model driven app and select Options, then Open an App Designer. The home screen is referred to as the app's site map. Select the pencil icon to edit the site map. Here you can see a horizontal view of the Field Service Mobile app's home screen, from bookings at the top to time entries at the bottom. As an example, let's add the warehouse entity to the home screen. Select sub area and drag it to where you want the new entity to be located. For type, select entity, but note you can add more than just entities to the sitemap, like links to websites and dashboards. In this case, we will choose warehouse. Then we'll save and publish. After reopening the mobile app on our device, we can now see Warehouse in the home screen. Next, let's show how to edit mobile views. A view is how a list of records are displayed. In the mobile app to the right, we can see a view of customer assets. Let's show how to edit this view. Back in the app designer, find the customer asset entity. Find views to the right and find the relevant customer asset view. In this example, we want to edit the active customer assets view, which we can see at the top of the mobile app. Select the pencil icon to edit the view. The same way an administrator would edit web views, they can do here for mobile views. This is what it means for the Dynamics 365 Field Service mobile app to be built on the Microsoft Power Platform. It is a single experience to configure web and mobile. The mobile view will display the first three columns in the view. Here we will move the product field to the third column to replace the created on field. Then we'll save and publish. Back in the mobile app, we will again close and reopen the app to see our changes. And here we can see the view has been updated. The third field in the customer asset view is now the product name. Next let's show how to edit mobile forms and add barcode scanning. Let's look at the customer asset form. The same way an administrator would edit web forms, they can do here for mobile forms because this app is built on the Power Platform. In this example, let's find a custom barcode field that we created previously and drag it to the mobile form. Then we will save and publish. Next, let's make this field a barcode scanner. Switch to the classic admin interface, then find the barcode field and double click on it. Then go to controls to the right, find the barcode scanner control, select it, and then set it for phone and tablet. As always, save and publish. After reopening the app, we can see the barcode field has been added to the form and there is a barcode button. When the button is selected, the application will trigger the device's camera and scan any barcode in view. It will then populate the field with the barcode's value. Administrators may also want to edit the booking form on the Field Service mobile app. To do this, go to the bookable resource booking entity and find the form called Booking and Work Order Form. This is the only form that can be used and edited for the combined Booking and Work Order Form. Another very important configuration is offline sync filters. This defines what data is downloaded to the device when there is no internet access. As shown before, technicians can work in offline mode by going to the main menu 
then selecting the cloud icon, and then toggling the offline mode switch. Out of the box, entities are filtered and only a portion of all records get downloaded. Administrators may want to edit the default sync filters to decide what is available without internet access based on their business needs. To edit sync filters, go to Advanced Settings, then choose Mobile Offline, and then select Mobile Offline Profiles. The Field Service Mobile Offline Profile is the default profile that comes with the application. First, you must assign the users on the right that this offline profile is for. Next, let's look at an example for bookable resource bookings. Here we can see that there is a custom data filter that downloads active bookings that start or end between yesterday and seven days going forward. Other ways to decide how data should be downloaded include related data only, all records, which is not recommended because it can be a lot of data, and other data filters, which is for special scenarios. As another example, let's look at work order sync filters. For work orders, we can see related work order incidents, products, service tasks, and services are downloaded as long as the related work order is also downloaded. This allows you to link download logic. Make sure to save and publish the offline profile if you make changes. Lastly, go to your list of apps and then the app designer for Field Service Mobile. Select Properties and check the Enable Mobile Offline. Then ensure your offline profile is added in the list. Another important capability is offline JavaScript workflows. Many administrators and developers use JavaScript to run business logic on Dynamics 365 apps. The same way an administrator would use JavaScript for Dynamics 365 web apps, they can use it for the Dynamics 365 Field Service mobile app. And the JavaScript will also run offline. Go to the form you want to add a JavaScript workflow to. In this case, we are looking at the booking form. Then switch to the classic admin experience. Select form properties in the top, and then add a new web resource. Among many types of web resources, you will see JScript as one.